Hello students, in my last lecture I had discussed about refractive index and absolute refractive index. Today we shall see some data available for refractive index for certain media which is given in table 10.3 here see. Table 10.3 absolute refractive index of some material media. So. For air it is 1.0003, for ice it is 1.31. Similarly, it is given here in increasing order and finally for diamond it is 2.42. Now, from this data we see that different material medium have different refractive indices. And in class 8 we have already read that higher is the optical density, lower is the speed of light and lower is the optical density, higher is the speed of light. Also, there is an article more to know. In this article, it is given that there are two terms. One thing is optical density, optical density and in class 9 we have read mass density mass density but really these two things are not the same actually optical density and mass density both are different for example if we put some kerosene in water then what happens kerosene floats above the surface of water so the mass density of water is more than that of the kerosene but here abc here table 10.1 then what we see see here the optical density of water is 1.33 but the optical density of kerosene is 1.44 so what we see we see the optical density of kerosene is more in comparison to the optical density of water but mass density of kerosene is less in comparison to the mass density of water so both of these things are different there should not be confusion so what is the meaning of optical density the meaning of optical density that is medium is denser and it is also directly related to refractive index so we can say that higher is the optical density more is the refractive index more is the refractive index and that medium is optically denser. Similarly, we can say lower is the optical density, less is the refractive index and that medium is optically rarer. So, in both way this fact is applicable. Now, using this concept we can solve in text questions of our NCRT. So see here, page 176 of NCRT, <coughs> page 176, what is the first question? So see question number one, a ray of light traveling in air enters obliquely into water. Does the light ray bend towards the normal or away from the normal and why? So to solve such types of questions, we must draw a ray diagram for our clear concept. So see, suppose this is a boundary between two transparent media and a ray of light traveling in air enters obliquely into water. So suppose this first medium is air and the second medium is water. And a ray of light enters obliquely, oblique incidence. At this point, if we draw a normal, so due to the 
rectilinear propagation of light in this ray of light should travel on a straight path but this is not the real condition here as rays of light travel from air to water so from optically rarer to optically denser and what happens if rays of light travel from optically rarer to denser then they bend towards the normal this is the answer here so with this concept our answer will be scientific and clear so what will be here answer a ray of light traveling in air enters obliquely into water does the light ray bend towards the normal or away from the normal the answer is the ray of light the ray of light bend towards the normal because it travels obliquely from optically rarer medium to optically denser medium this is the answer here so for giving perfect answer we must learn what is the scientific theme here second question what is second question once again see question number 2 ncert light enters from air to glass having refractive index 1.50 dear students in our previous lectures we have seen what is the meaning of refractive index if rays of light enters from air to glass we had read a special term and it was absolute refractive index so here the absolute refractive index of glass is given 1.50 so to solve any question first of all we analyze into physical terms so here we can write given the absolute refractive index the absolute refractive index of which medium glass the absolute refractive index of glass for which we had used the term nm is equal to here 1.50 now what is the speed of light in the glass so the speed of light in glass suppose it is v v stands for speed and g stands for glass is equal to what at the speed of light in vacuum it is given here the speed of light in vacuum which is represented by c it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so to solve numerical first of all we use the theory and our formula which we have learnt so which formula we have learnt for absolute refractive index we have learnt that absolute refractive index is given by the speed of light in air or vacuum this divided by speed of light in medium so suppose here the speed of light in glass we has taken vg using this formula we can solve it easily so here absolute refractive index is given 1.50 1.50 is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this divided by velocity of light in glass ha na with the help of cross multiplication we can write it easily the speed of light in glass is equal to 
थ्री इंटू टेन टू दि पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू बी जी एंड फेन बी ट्रांसफर इट इन राइट हैंड साइड देन इट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव इट कैन सीज टू टाइम्स दिस इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टेन टू दि पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड देर फोर द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन ग्लास विल बी टू इंटू टेन टू दि पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री डियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ एंड देन टेली इट विथ द सोल्यूशन गिवेन बाय बी बाय डूइंग सो योर लर्निंग विल बी फ्रूटफुल एंड ऑथेंटिक and try to learn really by solving it two or three times question number 3 what is question number 3 say here find out from table 10.3 the medium having highest optical density also find the medium with lowest optical density so here we shall use table 10.3 this is our table 10.3 In this table ten point three of NCERT, page number one seven five, first medium is air, and the refractive index of air is one point zero zero three, and it is given in increasing order. Finally, what we see, we see the refractive index of diamond is maximum two point four two. Also, we have discussed that. Higher is the refractive index, higher is the optical density. Lower is the refractive index, lower is the optical density. So with this concept, we can easily give the answer of this question. Now once again see question. What is the question? Find out from table ten point three the medium having highest optical density. So answer will be the medium having the highest optical then ct is what see here diamond the refractive index of diamond is maximum therefore the optical density of diamond will be maximum is diamond diamond and the medium having the lowest optical density is which here here the minimum refractive index is given for air so the minimum optical density will be of air Lowest optical density, the medium is air. So this is the answer here. Now next question, question number four. Question number four. C. What is question number four? You are given kerosene, turpentine, and water. In which of these, in which of these does the light travel fastest? Use the information. Once again, we shall use the concept. Lower is the optical density, higher is the speed of light. So the light travels fastest out of what? Kerosene, turpentine, and water. From this table, the optical density, that is, refractive index of water, is one point three three. Now kerosene one point four four, and C turpentine one point four seven. So, in which medium the speed of light will be maximum? In water. It will be maximum in water because the refractive index of water is minimum out of these three. With the use of table ten point three, so here answer will be water. Answer is water. Why answer is water? Once again, see the optical density, that is refractive index of water is minimum, and Kerosene is more in comparison to water, and turpentine oil is also more in comparison to kerosene. Now, question number five. See what is the question? Question number five. 
the refractive index of diamond is 2.42 what is the meaning of this statement so now question number 5 again we write given absolute refractive index that is nm is equal to 2.42 for diamond diamond and what we know we know that absolute refractive index is equal to a speed of light in vacuum divided by a speed of light in medium so with this concept what we can see we can see that a speed of light in diamond is equal to a speed of light in air divided by 2.42 so with this data we can see we can see that the speed of light in diamond is the speed of light through diamond through diamond is 1 divided by 2.4 times that of the speed of light in vacuum once again before concluding my lecture i am giving you homework that solve yourself now you try to solve yourself the in text questions of page 176 NCERT science book. Thank you. Thank you very much.